Hi there, signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading, and this reading is going to be for when it resonates with you. Don't, of course, it's fit, of course. I'm going to start off with the Oracle of Jeanette Gifts and um, the Angel Numbers Oracle. Both you can get from Etsy, or you could get off of Etsy. Okay, I have numerologists or <laughs> numerology, the study of divine numbers. Numerologist. Okay, Scorpio, that might be what the, the issue is really about, possibly. What's well, about numbers? It might be regarding what your soul number is. You can calculate your soul number, um, well, just by typing in a search. Um, how to do that? It's under numerology. But what it represents is the number uh, from your either your birth date or your name. It's something like that. But it's a number that uh, represents what your heart desires. So what you're actually passionate about. Which you may already know that without having to look a number up. <laughs> All right, and then I have spiritual herbalist, um, <laughs> spiritual healer, healing rituals, and ancient wisdom. It's otherwise known as a spiritual herbalist. Okay, then I have the Akashic Field, all information, power, energy, experiences vibrate here is what it says. Okay. I have Facebook platform, spiritual posts or activities. Oh, look, the candle went out as soon as I, like, as soon as that car came out. It's crazy. So, I have to light another candle for you. This may be in regards to a Facebook um, platform or one that is no longer, possibly. Get one more. C R A. Yeah, I know I keep making it shake when I'm moving around this chair, but this chair is heavy. Okay. Pendulum reader, scrying, rune casting, dowsing. Lots of different, different tools, techniques. TV news media, TV news platforms, spiritual purposes. And your angel, so your angel number messages. Let's pull from that. Number four four. I am supported. Talking about your master number forty four and your angel supporting you, um, driving you to success or this determination, the drive, the motivation itself will lead you to some kind of success. So I have three, and truly, it is a divine number. It's coming out. Um, 
as expression comes naturally to you. You are skilled, able to get others on board with your ideas because why you are charismatic. And then after that, 888. So not only are you charismatic, but you're entertaining too and abundant. So as you focus on all the wonderful things, it says that surround you, 888. You're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a place of abundance. I am abundant. Okay, then 17, the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. And it talks about with your skills and efficiency, how independent you can be. And then I have 333, I am powerful, talking about being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, living your truths and being a positive light to others because I am powerful. And of course, last but not least, all in how your perspective is of how you view the number 13, right? So I am confident says you're a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and then setting them into motion. Like it said, you have this creative personality getting people on board with your ideas. So, and 66 is the underlying issue, so might as well just go ahead and point that out. Talking about unconditional love and positivity. I am positive. And the Three of Swords is in the reverse, ready to release. Oh, that's crazy. It's mirroring Facebook. See, ready to release. Letting go of things that may have, like, weighed you down, possibly, or hurt. It could be a fresh new start. It could be about redoing a social media platform, too. could be about that. But, hey, that's powerful. And I have the Page of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. New information coming in that will help you with this opportunity for some really good um, money manifesting. Or for manifesting powers, something like that. Manifesting abilities. Okay, the moon in reverse, the eight of cups. Oh, well, that's interesting because it's coming out underneath all of these eights. That's, and then that's, wow, and then that's 18. So 17, 18, and then I have four eights. So 17 is the quality of work that you could produce when you're going at it alone, and that is independence. And this it is paired with the moon in reverse. So what does that mean? That means you need to trust your intuition more. The Eight of Cups is talking about how you're making room for more cups. It's like trying to find your ninth cup here. And the Two of Cups in the reverse. Two of Cups in the reverse might be talking about some partnerships. Some partnerships that um, break and some that come together. Never truly apart, though, it feels like, in the heart. And there is the Hierophant energy coming out appropriately on the side as being somewhat of a challenge. Six of Swords in the reverse. Should have listened to something regarding your intuition. It's what it feels like it's trying to say. But let's pull the good tarot over all of this, really, and just see if there's any one last thing that the tarot would like to say. And remember, we don't read reversals with this deck. So... Messages for Scorpio. Oh. Queen of Fire. Queen of Wands. Bold, daring, brave. 
and the three of water. Wow. Bold, brave, daring, and I got to add, with all these threes, powerful. So, celebration, fun, abundance, and some kind of hermitage. So, it's like going within, finding your own light. It's kind of like that. That's what I've got for you all. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.